So I am now past this point on the table, but I wanted to document it just to have it. Um, I had to figure out how to wire the lasers, and I had a AXIS AC adapter that does, let's see, 3.2 volts, 500 milliamps. So uh, 500 milliamps was more than enough for, or maybe just enough for four lasers, I think, but I've only got two. So uh, it doesn't matter if it's more current than you need. The lasers will just draw what they need. Um, but you have to wire them in parallel, not series. Uh, that it would be series. It makes a loop, and that's wrong. So parallel is what you would want to do. I had to look that up. Um, they're both just, well, you can see it. Um, which translates to that. This is just trying to figure it out on paper. And then it translates to that which is sort of what I ended up with. This is a picture of the circuit and I just used fan plugs from some PC fans. That's one and that's the other one. Uh, and those are the alligator clips that came on the end of the AC adapter which ended up looking like this. See um, one laser to the fan Clip, and then the other one, um, and then your alligator clips, and probably not the best for circuits, but I used paper clips in there, they work, and then the alligator clips, and the only difference is that there's a switch in here, and it's on the negative side, I don't know which is the correct side, but it works, so it can kill the power, or disconnect the lasers, etc. Also, uh, the other day, I had a problem with the camera seeing the blobs on the screen, and it turns out that it's the visible light filter that's the problem. You have to have, uh, if you're using film negatives as the filter, you need developed film negatives. This is what the developed ones look like. You can see through them somewhat. and. This is what they look like when they're not developed. You can't see through it at all. It has a backing on it Oops. that dissolves when they put it in whatever solution they do to develop it. So uh, that's a thing. And it was like $2.37 to get it developed. But Walmart doesn't do it. CVS did it. They don't know what you're talking about, though. Just, uh, I don't know, tell me you're building a time machine or something. <laughs> 